all the best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. Ladies and gentlemen, we are set to go with our next bout of the evening, scheduled for four rounds of action in the heavyweight division. This bout is brought to you by Lou DeBella's DeBella Entertainment in association with the American Red Cross. Sponsored by Manfredi Auto Group, Nulio.com, and Everlast Worldwide. Judges ringside, John McKay, Glenn Feldman, and Don Trella. Your referee, Eddie Cotton. Introducing first, boxing out of the blue corner. He wears a dark blue and silver. Official weight, 230 pounds. Professional record, one victory against three defeats. He has one win coming by way of knockout. From Hibbing, Minnesota, Tyrone T.J. Gibson. Gibson. And his opponent across the ring, boxing out of the red corner. He wears silver and black. He weighed in at 278 pounds. His professional record, a perfect one. Three fights, three victories, three of them coming by way of knockout. He hails from Brooklyn, New York. America's last hope, the world's last superhero, Jarrell Big Baby Miller. Miller. All right, boxers, obey my commands and protect yourself at all times. All right, let's touch gloves. Let's go. So you got a couple of heavyweights. Jarrell, the next superhero, Miller, taking I that's on what I heard. Tyrone Gibson. And as you heard, Miller, 3-0 so far in his young career. All of them have come by knockout. Mr. Gibson all the way from Duluth, Minnesota. Both guys wearing the black trunks. Miller with the lime green shoes. So it's safe for me to bet on a guy with the black gloves and black trunks? Yeah, absolutely. Come back, Briggs! Come back. Just four rounds here. Miller comes right out, establishing that jab. It's early on, yes, but I don't. If I was in Miller's corner, I would yell, "What's the bounce for?" Step right to the guy. Physically disappearing. No need to bounce around and try to box. Oh, here's a big right hand. That one rocks Gibson. And let's see if Miller can finish him off. Gibson is definitely hurt. That's it. Gibson wants to be finished off. That's the question. But see, the gentleman's career, Jerome Miller should be more aggressive when you have guys like this in front of you. All three of Miller's victories so far in his career have come by knockout. And you can see Miller's trying to just load up for that right hand. There's a good left. But what I see here is the fact that Jerome Miller, obviously, again, he's young in the professional ranks. But there are certain opportunities that's there he's not taking. Uppercut, body shot. See, for instance, half a step back when your opponent goes in with his head down. Right there, Miller, half a step back, you're punching him. Here's a right hand. And the uppercut's there because Gibson keeps ducking and dipping down. Keep going to the body if you're in Gibson's corner. And pull him to throw to the body. There's a nice body shot by Gibson. Right hand. Right hand. Right hand. Right hand. Right hand. Right hand. Ten seconds left in the round. And 
Gibson's holding on. He he looks like he's going to survive it. After taking a number of tough shots. And take him out. Gibson's corner wants him to pick up the action. Bring the fight to Miller. But Miller outweighs Gibson by nearly 50 pounds here. And one thing Gibson certainly needs to do is start covering up. He has eaten a lot of Miller's jabs here thus far. Just like that. And that's what Miller should be doing, jabbing. Stepping forward, just like that. No need to step back. Step forward, stiff, hard jab, just like that. Keep working it. He outweighs Gibson by 40 plus pounds, so be aggressive. Use that weight. There's a right hand. But one punch. Yeah. Another right hand. And he follows it up with a left. Gibson is definitely hurt. And that's it. That is a good stoppage. Yeah, he, he turned around, turned his back, and he's defenseless. So Eddie Cotton, referee Eddie Cotton, is put in a position where, what do we do? do? Do we let the guy get hit several times by a guy weighing him 40 plus pounds, or do we stop him? Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eddie Cotton calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, one minute and 25 seconds of round number two. Your winner by TKO, and still undefeated from Brooklyn, New York. Jarrell Big Baby Miller.